Mohunbina was a comparatively recent development in the history of musical instruments, which was followed by two other instruments, namely Dilbaha and Navodipa. All these were creations of Radhika Mohan Maitro. Chronologically, Mohan Bina was developed sometimes in between 1943 and 48, Dilbahar in the year 1956, and Navodipa in between 1962 and 1967, among which Mohan Bina is our last item of interest today. In fact, Radhika Mohan was inspired to construct such an instrument after his dual performance on Suraj Singar with the great Binkar Ustad Sadi Kali Khan in the year 1943 or 44. The theme was to wed the acoustic depth and Wulbani of Saroj with the fastness of Bina and Suraj Singar. The Zawari of the flat bridge Bina was tagged up with the tonal quality of Sarud and Mohun Bina was created. Also, the bridge of the Tarap strings was replaced by a smaller one like that of the Surbahar. After it was created in the year 1946 and was demonstrated in 1948, Thakur Jaidip Singh, the eminent musicologist and the then chief producer of music, All India Radio, in consistency with the name of the creator Radhika Mohan, named it as Mohan Bina. Let's have a glimpse on the technical composition of the instrument as it was constructed by the maestro. Devuda has already discussed the whole um, aspect, but I'm just showing the instrument uh, part in the parts. This is the flat bridge used according to, um, uh, it's a mixture of Sursingar and uh, bean and all sorts of flat bridge instruments. This is an amalgamation type which uh, followed by the experiments um, according to the sounds by the maestro. And this little bridge was, um, this idea was taken from Surbahar little bridge uh, in the Tarabs and usually uh, the maestro used 9 and 11 and 13 tarab strings. Here it is 9 in, in number, the tarabs. And the whole sound box with the wooden top or the tabli uh, was just a squeezed form of surabab as we have seen in the, uh, the surabab also previously. And this part is also a squeezed and a bit flattened um, type of Radhu Babu's own uh, form of sarud. And the whole instrument is uh, uh, carved out of a piece of Burmese teak wood. And other features are like Sarud, but here is the peculiarity and the um, creativity worked. And uh, uh, usually he used some different gauges, which, which was uh, also again amalgamation of um, all those four, five instruments which uh, the Buddha has already discussed. And uh, this is the instrument and with a steel plate like Surstringar and since it is uh, smaller in size, we are using tarabs to get the sympathetic. Now, after a brief technical discussion about the construction of this instrument, Shomjit Tashkupto will perform on Mohanbina, Rag, Hambir, Alap and then Gath in Dhamartal.
a number of recordings of Mohan Bina recitals by Radhika Mohan Maitro were performed and broadcast in the national programs of All India Radio till the Maestro's death in the year 1981. This tradition of classical musical instruments of the great Maestro Radhika Mohan Maitro was included in the exhibition and symposiums in India by Sangeet Natok Academy, New Delhi, and in the Citadelle Music, Paris, by the government of France very recently. <laughs>